At this point, our app can view our messages and look at the message details. Now we want to be able to send messages. And the first method we'll do is through SMS text messages. If I click on the SMS icon, I go to our UI for SMS, and I just type in my message. And I send it. It'll go out to the Android Operating System's default text message app. And from there, I can send. I'm going to cancel because I don't want to send a message to John Doe. But when I return, if I look at my sent messages, we'll see that we have that message. So we'll take a look at how we did that. And this was our send message activity. From our parent, which is the message list, we pass in two pieces of data on our intents, the user ID, and a flag whether we're sending the message by SMS or by email. And on resume, we get a list of contacts, and we fill our spinner with that list. And we just get the contacts from the manager. When our send button is clicked, we go to a send method. We'll get our recipient contact from the contact name in the spinner. And that's just simply looking in the list at the selected item position. Then we determine the method we're sending and send it either by SMS or by email. So for SMS, we're passing in our contact. And from that contact, we get the phone number. If you remember, a contact can have multiple numbers. And of course, an SMS is not going to be able to go to a landline. So we want to make sure that we're sending it to a mobile phone number. So the get SMS numbers method loops through all of the contact phone numbers looking for a mobile number. If there's not a mobile number for this user, a toast message will be displayed and will return false and not attempt to send the message. If we've gotten a successful message, we'll see if there are any pictures, and we'll be talking about pictures in the next lesson. But for now, we're just going to be sending a pure text message. So we create an intent with an action view, and we're going to be passing in an SMS with a phone number. And then we'll put an extra on that intent with the message. And we start the activity with the intent. And that's really all there is to it to be able to use the Android's SMS messaging system. So this is another case where the ability to pass intents across applications and be able to use them to create application actions is really handy and very powerful. So after we've sent off to the activity, we want to store the message in our database so we have record of it as well. And we simply do that through our message manager, and we create a new message object with the message type, the user ID, who we're sending it to, our subject, now is the date time, and the message itself, and then we insert it. If there are any pictures, we'll go through them and insert them as well in a table called message picture. So basic database operation stuff there. So now we actually have the message sent a couple of different ways. And when we learn about remote data, we could see how we don't actually need the SMS system to send the message. We can just basically send it through the app. And in the next lesson coming up, we'll be taking a look at sending a picture along with the SMS.